these are the kind of things I'm making outside. I mean, they're just quick notations about what I'm looking at. When I'm out there, I don't think I'm trying to think too much about what it is I'm doing. It's, n it's good to be sort of unselfconscious about the drawing. So it's hopefully what I'm doing is just making a direct record of some of the things and thoughts about what, I'm, what I've seen. of the sea in these little notebooks and um, these bigger drawings on the floor here uh, are sort of taken from these notebooks and then made in the, in the studio so you can see the, the drawings I'm making outside I'm looking just at the patterns of the patterns of the waves the sort of proportions and they're quite I mean they're simple drawings but um, and then in the studio there remade in these drawings and then I've been making a set of drawings adding the figure in. The actual process of putting the paint on the canvas happens quite quickly. It's, I, I like what I want in the, in the paint is something that retains kind of the energy of it actually being put onto the canvas. So I like the, to see the marks, I like it all fairly open to see where things have been corrected. Um, so, so, you, so you pick up that kind of energy of it happening in the same way as you pick up the energy of the landscape happening and so there's these two sides there's, there's the fast process of actually putting the paint on and then there's the long and considered process of thinking about whether it works or whether it doesn't and making adjustments and that's why I like, I like having the paintings in the studio for quite a long period of time so I'll be working on one maybe one painting for four or five months I'll be working on another one for years Another thing about the paintings is that I, I don't feel that they're willfully abstracted from what I actually see. It's it's a case of trying to remake what you see in a, in a way that's alive again and exciting and um, that hasn't been done a hundred times before. So I don't think there's any willful abstraction in it. What it is is you're trying to get at the thing you saw in a fresh and new kind of way. So that's I think that may be partly why. The, paintings look like they do. During the process of making the painting, you're then going back out into the landscape to sort out problems, to relook, maybe to try and see the whole thing in a completely different way. So it's a, it's a sort of two-way process. You're making, I'm making drawings to make the paintings, but then the paintings dictate what kind of drawings that I then go and, go and make. And that's all there is to it. <laughs>